Hello Fast Motorsports, we are back here at the Fast R&D facility. We're gonna take a look at the mocked up, not finished, but mocked up triple turbo setup on our Ram race truck back there. You can probably actually see it behind me a little bit. And then we're gonna check out Spencer and Dan while they're doing some really cool work. Dan is welding up a bumper for the Ram because the OEM one is not gonna work. And Spencer is working on the quad, count them, four exhaust stacks. We're gonna have two wastegates and then two actual exhaust stacks coming off. So four pipes total coming through the hood. So check it out. Dan, this is the people. People, this is Dan. You guys remember each other. This is not the people. This is the bash bar thingy. I was trying talking metaphor. You know what? You're right. You're right. 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 So what we've got going on over here right now, besides the mess on the table, is a bumper cover holder structure. So we're going to be replacing that really heavy stock bumper cover, pulling it off. And this is going to just be there in place. It's not going to be a structural or safety thing. It's literally just to hold the bumper cover. Um, we're trying to actually cut weight, you know, putting the truck on a diet. And we're going to be uh, just making different mounting tabs on here to hold the actual bumper structure. And then we'll be adding a spot for the fog light. Uh, probably not one on this side, but that side. We'll see. You know, really, we're just figuring out as we go along. It's uh, it's an adventure around here. And your confidence that this is gonna be ready for like 200-ish miles an hour feel good? Oh yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. That's the look of a man who knows his welding. Absolutely, no, this is, it, it will go 200 miles an hour. That's awesome. Can you All show the us the factory piece that we're taking off and why yeah. we? Yeah, so we've got the actual bumper cover over here. And then this is our massive, I mean, it's it's not light it's probably 50 pounds mm. and what's, the new, what's the new one gonna be maybe like 15 i don't know i'm not sure Less we'll see how many, how many tubes i want to like add and like oh let's put another one here no you know so we're I mean, planning on cutting decent amount of weight well i see you're wearing a drift shirt maybe like drifty boy style we can just leave the cover off of it and it'll look super cool because then you'll see like the whole intercooler and all that stuff too. I don't know. Potentially, but it's water to air, so it doesn't look as cool. There's not all the fins. Uh, that's true. All right, so as you can see behind me, the triple turbos are mocked up. Now, this is not the actual engine that they're going to go on, but it still looks really cool. This is the 5.9 liter block that it had originally in it. Now, remember, this engine, which is fully built, only has about 10,000 miles on it. But the point of this video is look at that. I mean, how do you even do this justice? And our fearless leader, Spencer, is over here. Well, what are you working on? I am making titanium dessert, basically. Now, I'm using pie cuts from uh, Tycon to finish up the exhaust stacks. Hood stacks, obviously. Um, but the race truck. Got to build two of them. Five inch. Ooh, buddy. Now, I was trying to explain over on the engine bay how it's all going to work. Can you show us? Because I'm sure I got it wrong. Yeah. The turbos? Uh, the exhaust and then the wastegate, would you call them exhaust stacks or wastegate vents? Yeah, they're just wastegate dumps. dumps. Um, so on this truck, we are just dumping to the atmosphere. So sometimes you'll see them dumping back into the atmospheric charger down low, but right now we're just gonna go straight through the hood and vent to atmosphere and try to keep the drive pressure and keep the turbos manageable so we don't send pistons out the block too quick. Now, doesn't that mean we're gonna get to shoot fire? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, hopefully all four of them will shoot some flames out. How is the, um, 
how hard was it to get all this in here? Because for people that are watching, I mean, you've been working at this for a while now. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, very time consuming and frustrating. And unfortunately what you see here is not all the parts that I made. You know, there were some, uh, some oopsies and redos and things like that, but finally got it. Now is the plan at this point to stick to fuel only? Cause that's kind of what we've been talking about. Or are you thinking? We'll probably use a uh, spool jet um, just to help get on top of these turbos. And, uh, but other than that, would like to be fuel only. Now, one other question the internet seems to have, cause we've explained this is the five nine block. It's built for a lot of horsepower, but not this type of horsepower. Why was the decision made to go to a 6.7? And explain it again, I know we've talked about it. Why, why the swap? Why, why not stick with the 5.9? Well, we need more, more displacement. Um, so, I, I mean, the, the ideal thing would be a 6.7 um, or larger, but um, we decided with a 6.4 because we could get the most strength out of it. Uh, we're doing um, a sleeve 6.7, so it brings, it down, brings the bore down. Uh, we're also putting a deck plate on it, which ties, basically ties the block together, top to bottom, um, and just stiffens things up. So it's not, it is a cast iron block, but it's a, a sleeve block and just for strength and reliability if there is such a thing at this power level is what we're going for, along with a lot of power. So we were just about to wrap up filming and then Spencer says, hey, I have a big gun in the truck and he pulls out this thing. Uh, what is it? This is a custom made 338 Wapua. A buddy of mine made it and actually made it and machined it all. And it's, a, it's a hoss, fun gun to shoot. And what's the round look like? So we're gonna shoot it about 15 yards because, just cause, it makes loud noises. <laughs> there we go. That's nice. <laughs> the internet's gonna on me for everything about my shooting and that's all right. Good? <laughs> yep. What a massive handgun. You just talk back for the second one? Yep. Watch that finger. <laughs> And with that, we are out of here. We hope you enjoyed this quick update. The triple turbos are looking amazing and that front bumper is gonna be perfect. So if you like this type of stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next week.